it's 70 degrees out in February. It's a couple phrases you'll want to know when you come to Bucharest. If you do come here, be sure to go all the way to the top. The people outside the restaurants are extra aggressive. No rock. Good morning from central Bucharest. Today we're going to be taking you around the Old Town neighborhood. So the Old Town is right in the middle of Bucharest. This is basically where the city started when the shepherd Bucur, when he found this section which he thought was the Danube River, which is actually south of here. This is where it is believed that Bucharest started to build out. The cool thing about the Old Town nowadays is that it's all pedestrian streets. So there's a collection of 48 streets, it kind of makes a circle, and every single one of them is going to be all pedestrian traffic. So all the vehicle traffic goes around the Old Town and this is just completely dedicated to people hanging out, uh, getting food, going to bars, and it's a great place to be on the weekend. So it's Saturday, it's 60 degrees, it's absolutely beautiful, so we're gonna just spend the entire day in the Old Town and show you what it's like. Our first stop is gonna be a place called Bread and Butter, so we're kind of cheating a little bit. It's across the street from the Old Town, but it's close enough. If you're here, you're gonna be able to walk to it very easily. This is a brunch spot, and we haven't had a proper brunch in Bucharest yet, so we're excited to get some eggs and some potatoes. We tried to go to this place before, but it's reservations only, so we finally we got a reservation. Let's go get some brunch. a lot of jokes in the U.S. about how Gen Zers go out and spend half their paycheck on brunch, which is like the most overpriced meal you could possibly have. We got all of this great food. So Sydney got a beautifully assembled breakfast bowl with potatoes, fried eggs, bacon, feta cheese, green onions. I got a croque madame, which is an open-faced sandwich on toast with cheese, ham, and fried eggs on top. It's a very typical kind of brunch food. Got all of that for about 102 lei, which comes out to about $25 U.S. So if you think about how much cheaper that would be you know going out to brunch in the US you'd probably spend around 60 70 bucks between the two people so we got all of this food two people great meal coffee tea all for under $30 now we're off to one of the most popular stops in Old Town when you're walking the streets, there will be restaurant attendants out front trying to lure you in to get inside for a drink or a coffee. It's something to be aware of when you're walking through the old town. Sometimes you'll even get double teamed from both sides. Restaurants across the street from each other will have people outside wanting to lure you in to their restaurant instead of the other ones. Within a few blocks, you could get up to 10 people trying to get you into their restaurants. bookstore has six levels, four full of books, one level's an art collection, and the top floor there's a cafe. So this incredible bookstore is called Carteresti Carousel, and it's where a lot of people come just to kind of hang out, do some work, study if they're in school, and you can also shop around, see some books, some cool knickknack things. There's something here for everyone and it's just such a beautiful interior. There's so many different levels like Sydney said. And every time you go to a new level you think you're at the top but then there's one more. 
If you do come here, be sure to go all the way to the top level to check out the cafe. We've heard the lemonades are amazing. We're gonna go try a couple. you'll want to know when you come to Bucharest. Buna means hi. Mutulmesk, thank you. Another term you'll want to have in your arsenal is narok, which is cheers. Narok. Oh. We're enjoying a pint of Ursus Retro. This is the unfiltered version of Ursus. This is our friend Andre's favorite Romanian beer. A lot of the suggestions we've gotten for Bucharest and for Romania in general have been from Andre. So cheers, Andre. This is a very, very good beer. So we have spent quite a lot of time in the Old Town, which we're a little ashamed of because it's definitely the more touristy part. But just like with our location, it's been the easy place to go to where there's always something open. But I have to say, with the beautiful weather today, we have not seen it quite this lively yet, and we're excited to see what it's like even tonight. This definitely is the place for everyone to hang out on a weekend, like a Saturday or Sunday afternoon. Everyone's out, everyone's sitting outside, enjoying their drinks or enjoying their meals. It's very pleasant to be here in February. It's snowing back home. There's a snowstorm going through Wisconsin. I don't know if it hit Iowa yet. So we're happy to be avoiding that and sitting outside with these drinks and just enjoying the beautiful sunny day. It's such a nice day out today that the people outside the restaurants are extra aggressive trying to get you into their restaurant. We just had a lady chase us down the entire block. We tried to ignore her, but she just kept coming after us. So this is a very trendy sky bar called Nomad, right in the middle of Old Town. And we just had a bottle of wine and this awesome cheese platter. Again, I can't stress enough, the prices here are so insane. It was 102 lei, which is somewhere around $24, $25. I think in my mind's eye, I just keep comparing this to like big city. So if you're in a big city, even in Europe, whether it's London or Paris or something like that, there's no way you can get away with coming to a rooftop bar, getting a fancy bottle of wine and some cheese for less than $25. No way, absolutely no way. So that's the great thing about Bucharest is that I just feel like prices are more fair for what you're actually getting and every other city in the world is overpriced. This is probably the most expensive part of town and what a great time for $24. Next stop is Shotarita. The menu is strictly shots. Palinka is a type of liquor that's usually around 60 to 70 percent alcohol. It's a plum based liquor that's usually called a digestive, usually taken after dinner. It comes from the Transylvanian region. Wow, we needed a place like this in college. You just come in, do a shot, and leave. That's so efficient. I got the vamp girl. We actually didn't get any palinka. I hate to admit it, but we'll get some palinka later. There's just some too many good options in there. Not all.
So we came for some traditional Romanian food to line our stomachs for the night of drinking. I can't wait to try the sheep pastrami. Oh wow, that was really good, really filling, a lot of food. That's the second time I've had Romanian style pastrami, so it's not like the soft deli meat that you're probably thinking of in like a New York style sandwich. It's served more like a steak, and it's just so flavorful. Every single bite, it's a very fatty style meat, so you're gonna get a lot of the flavor coming off of that fat, and it's salted and seasoned in a very specific way. That was a 10 out of 10, plus Pilsner Urkel on tap. Can't beat it, right? <laughs>